Got a new reason tonight to remind desperate parents how to surrender a baby safely. There was a newborn that was dropped off at a Plano business early on Wednesday. And the baby was not harmed, but advocates of the state's baby Moses law says there is more that needs to be done to raise awareness about this. Our Robbie Owens reports for us from Plano. They were scared, you know what I mean? At that point, I didn't want them to leave the parking lot and then them not make it to one of those safe haven spots. So security cameras captured Tabitha Perry and Angela Owens quite unexpectedly becoming that safe haven. They were distraught. They didn't know what to do yeah. or who to ask for help. For a couple of panicked teenage parents. Well, the umbilical cord had been cut. She said she didn't know she was pregnant. Who just delivered their baby girl by themselves. She was healthy, um, all 10 fingers, all 10 Big, toes. Big, beautiful lips. She's gorgeous. <laughs> yeah, she was and so healthy. And while there is tremendous relief here that that baby was not harmed, advocates say the situation is a reminder that much more needs to be done to raise awareness. This is no easy decision. Because there is a better way. I've been talking to advocate Patsy Summy about the baby Moses law for more than two decades. The fact that we are now speaking over Zoom suggests that there is still work to be done to reach those who need to know how to surrender a baby safely. I think it's time that the state steps up and adds some money to a, an advertising program to let folks know that this law is on the books and it's being it's available to be used. Since 1999, state law allows infants who have not been harmed to be surrendered in designated safe spaces, a hospital, fire station, emergency center, or EMS station. The baby must be less than 60 days old, and this is key. The baby must be handed to an employee. If they needed help, they got help. And we want to see them be okay. In Plano, Robbie Owens, CBS News, Texas.